Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. I am celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Kavanaugh and in today's video, we're going to be getting into a natural male skin retouching tutorial. So, let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'm not going to be doing a lot with this image, but I just want to show you guys how you're able to actually retouch an image and get a very clean, polished result without actually over editing or doing more than what is necessary for the image. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do when it comes to this particular moment is back out of this, <laughs> it means to select this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to zoom in. I like to zoom in and see what needs to be done. I won't know that I want to clean the hair. I know that I want to remove small imperfections from the skin, brighten things up with dodge and burn, and then also just get a final clean cohesive result within skin tone and texture. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to move to is zooming in to the image, going up here to the spot heel tool and simply going in and removing blemishes on the forehead and around the face. I also love to start from the top and work my way down to the bottom so that I can keep track of what I'm doing throughout my retouching process. After I do this, and then I will continue to go down the face and then do other methods to get an even better result. Luckily, this model doesn't have, you know, textured skin or uh, any like major discoloration, you know, within the skin that's normal. So it makes it a little bit more easier. But I want to know for you guys, what is your favorite part about retouching? Is it the color grading? Is it the actual skin retouching is it the full process the music you play while going through the actual retouch what is it that you like to do that makes the retouching process for you your workflow a little bit more easier i'm just going to keep continuing to remove those little imperfections things that i don't want there And just keep working around. One thing that I stress as well is when you get to these points, make sure you're zooming in and out of the image so that you can keep track with where you are and kind of get a different perspective while you're going through the process. So here's a quick before and here's the after. I'll come to where we are so far, a little bit zoom up. Here's a quick before and after. Looks pretty good. Next thing that I want to do is clean up this hair, the stray hairs that are around. I want it to be a little bit more tight and don't worry, we're coming back to the skin, but I just wanna go and start removing things that I find to be very distracting before we get into anything. So we're just gonna take a clone stamp brush and we're just gonna start lightly selecting these areas that are around the hair that can be a little bit more fine tuned. Just keep going around. When we get by the neck, we can clean that up as well. Turn this off a little bit more. Alrighty. So the next thing I'm going to do is go up here and just get that top little straight here. continue the process perfect all right I'm gonna zoom out one second let me get this all right there we go so what I'm gonna do is zoom back out and I am going to analyze the image Another thing I like to do is go into my black and whites in the adjustments panel and I like to bring down the reds. What the reds allow me to do is start to see imperfections that aren't visibly noticeable when it's in full color. So I will go into the black and whites, head up to the dodge and burn and start dodging those little areas that are very, very, very noticeable. That way, when I start to dodge and burn these areas, what it allows me to do 
is continue to clean the skin, but at the same time, not mess up or change the actual texture of the skin. Either you can micro dodge and burn this, either you can, and along this part, what we're gonna do is just continue the process of cleaning. Just lightly brushing. Just going to different parts of the skin that are dark that we want to clean up and perfect. Even around the mouth is such an important area as well. So make sure you don't forget that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is back up out of this. I'm gonna go back into my colors, show you guys a quick before and after of what we are so far. Okay, I'm liking the results that I'm seeing, but at the same time, I would like to make this a little bit more cohesive. So what we're going to do is go into the actual clone, sorry, not the clone stamp. We're gonna go into the Gaussian blur section. And what this is going to allow me to do is then get a more cohesive skin tone and texture. And also what I'm using in this is a Wacom pen tablet. And what that allows me to do when I'm using a Wacom tip pen tablet is be able to uh, paint around the image in places that I want to clean up. And it allows me to use pressure sensitivity to control the outcome of the brush stroke. So I'm just gonna lightly start taking the brush and brushing in different areas. And as I start to brush around, you'll see the skin. Oop, we did a little bit too much. Let's back up a little bit. There we go. The skin will start to change as I'm starting to go around a little bit more. We can also maneuver and change our flow and our outcome. Just to make those things a little bit clean. Like I said, at the end of the day, I want this to be a very natural retouch. I want it to still have those characteristics of actual male skin. I mean, that's the beautiful thing about it. You know, it comes in so many different tones and textures that I still want to keep that about it, but just make it a little bit more polished than what it was before. All right, so I'm going to deselect, and this is kind of with and without that whole process of frequency separation. I'm gonna go back in just one second and Clean up this eye area. There we go. Nice. So here's a quick before and here's a quick after. And also, we did all of that within keeping that skin texture, you know? Just wanna remove some little imperfections that I see. zoom out right quick and also what I'm going to do is go in and I just want to try something out right quick I'm going to use one of my Photoshop actions this is able to be purchased on my website chrisphotostudios.com I'm just going to color grade this a little bit very clean I'm going to merge these together. I'm also within doing this, we'll go to the skin smoothening. 
and I'm going to repeat that same step that I did with the frequency separation Gaussian blur. And what this is going to do is just soften little areas around the face and the skin a little bit more than what it was. Beautiful. All right. Okay. So I'm liking the results of what we have so far. I want to just brighten certain areas up for a quick second. Bring some detail back into certain areas. Try to get this as clean as possible. All those little pore areas. I'm gonna zoom out. And also, what I'm gonna do is, let's see, let's try something right quick. I, I just wanna, you know, I'm going to see what it looks like if I were to actually put or change the color of this backdrop for a second. All right, so we're gonna go up to the quick selections, click select, head over to the layers panel, make it a solid color, and just for kicks and giggles, let's see, we'll change it a light blue right quick. That's not gonna be the final color, but I just want to select the color to go into clean up. Let's see, I would kind of like this at a darkish brownish color. If we can, let's get to it. Looks pretty cool, right? And this is what it would be if it was, you know, different colors. But I feel that this brown is a pretty cool. So here is a quick, oh, let me go back out. deselect here's a quick before and here's a quick after with simple steps using methods like uh, clone stamp frequency separation Gaussian blur frequency uh, dodge and burn spot heal and some other methods you know to get to these results so if you like the results make sure you leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys right back in the next video